Hi, welcome back to the Arcade Repair Tips video series. Today we're going to talk about troubleshooting games that have sound issues. Our good candidate today is a gyrus cabinet that's been converted to a 60 and 1. Now we've already tried two things and that you should always start here. We tried to turn up the volume on the board and inside the game, but that didn't work. In fact, we're not getting any sound at all. So, assuming it could be a board issue, we swapped out and put the 60 and 1 in there just to, for testing and we noticed that it still didn't have any sound so we've ruled out that it's a board issue so now we're going to look in the back of the cabinet and see what other issues that we might could find that could cause this now the first thing that we're going to do when we're in the back of the game is to check the wiring from the speaker down to the main harness to make sure that we have good continual wiring that something didn't get cut or broken along the way now this is gyrus as you might remember is not a jamma game but so your whatever game you're working on you're going to need to make sure that you look at the pinouts to make sure where the wires go we followed it back to here on jamma it'd be pin 10 uh, but you know whatever your game is look for the pinout first so you'll know where the wiring goes and all i did was i put one end up here where it's going to the speaker and i'm going to check the other end i've got my meter set on continuity beep for us just so that we can hear it and as I check this I notice that that's good on that side now um, I also want to check the other side to make sure that it's okay so we're going to put that up in there we're going to check the other side and you'll see that that's fine now the next check I want to do is those wires should be independent and separate so they should not ah I think we found our problem guys you see how that I am getting continuity on both sides that means that somewhere up there is a short probably in the speaker and it's coming back down now one way that I can test that real quick is I can unplug this from the speaker or unplug the speaker itself up there now when I test that I'm getting continuity on that side but I'm not getting continuity on the other side what that told me was was there was a short up in that speaker and that caused an issue here now since we're back here let's test the other side and maybe you'll understand more what I mean I'm gonna put the lead on one side now these are brown wires and they're down here on the harness so I should get continuity on one side there it is but not the other you guys might not can hear that as well but I've got continuity on one side I hear it beeping but again not the other side so this one is open and and doing what it's supposed to that one is shorted thereby we have a bad speaker and we need to replace the speaker and hopefully that will give us some sound okay now we've taken that one speaker out of the game and here is a brand new speaker um, what we're going to do is we're going to check the ohms or the resistance across it to see if the speaker is good uh, as you might notice a lot of speakers will tell you this one has this 8 ohms 5 watts the ohms remember is that thing looks kind of like an upside down horseshoe and that's what we're going to check we got our meter set on ohms and we're going to look right here and see we should be reading somewhere close to 8 uh, it doesn't have to be exactly 8 but as you can see it's just showing short it's, it's not not showing anything watch when I do the new speaker immediately it'll start climbing up and there we're at 6 ohms this is a brand spanking new speaker so not quite 8 but we are reading something as compared to this guy who's just totally blown showing a short so uh, here's our problem we have a bad speaker which we noticed when we did the wiring check that it was uh, reading continuity across there so that will help us determine we're going to put the new speaker in I bet we'll have sound right off the, right off the bat okay so we've replaced our blown speaker and now we're waiting on the 60 and 1 to boot up to see if we have sound wait for it ah 
the 80s keyboard Casio cheap synthesizer music. Well, you gotta love that. We know the sound is working now, so we hope that this video has been helpful to you guys today. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, please feel to uh, email or call us. Get in touch with us somehow. Remember here at Arcade Repair Tips, when you fix the game, you play the game. I'll try some Pac-Man. <laughs>